Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today I'm going to try and fix my Sterling engine here. So, the as I showed in the last Sterling engine video, the bottom aluminum piece like this totally melted. So this part just kind of fell off of the um, displacer rod. So as you can see here, here's how I built it. I used some springs on here to kind of just press these against these um, bent wire holders so that I didn't have to... Um, put wire holders on both sides and they actually worked pretty good that part but the um, aluminum on the bottom didn't work so well so I'm gonna see I think I'm just gonna make another one of these because this one's kinda squished down and compacted anyway so I need a new one of those um, but I think I'm gonna use this wire this is like craft wire really cheap stuff it's like 89 cents for this I think I'm gonna use this to kind of keep the steel wool from falling off because it kept its shape real well, but it just, I think it just needs something to hold it on that's not going to melt. So I think I'm just going to kind of make a wire net kind of, or wire thing around it just to hold it on. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I've rolled out one um, bundle of steel wool. And this is, uh, whatever that grade is, grade 1. Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess it's grade 1. But it's, it's semi-fine. So... I've um, unrolled it and got it fluffed up a bit, and now I'm just going to roll it up around like a rod here and try to get it into the right shape. Alright, so now I'm rolling it up. I'm trying to keep it fluffy, so got a rod in there, and so I'll probably have it something like that. And then I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to roll it up about that much that this, so there's still enough to go all the way, the rest of the way around. And I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to start wrapping my wire around it, and and then this will wrap around the wire to kind of cover it so that it, the actual wire doesn't rub against the sides of the can. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here it is. I think it looks pretty good. So I basically just took the wire and wrapped it around the um, shaft there or the push rod. And then I actually, I kind of wrapped it around this end. I started at this end. Let me get it so you can see it better. You can't really see much. But I wrapped it around twice and then I looped it over this way and then looped it around I think three-fourths of the way or no one and a half one and a quarter turns and then I went over here went back this way and did it again over here another twist around and I did that four times so I've got four pieces just like this um, holding it on there so I think it, it, I mean, it seems pretty solid and then actually the wire was a little bit too loose so I actually took the pliers and twisted the wire. You can't really see that right there. I twisted the wire up to make it a little bit tighter. And I think it's pretty good. So it fits pretty snugly inside the can. I mean, it's not rubbing too much, but, I mean, the air has to go through it and transfer the energy to it, so that's good. And it just about goes the full um, stroke, so that is pretty good looking. Comes pretty close there, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. So, now to put it back together and test it. Alright, so I just put it back together, so it should work. Just gotta hook up the tubes and get it all set up. But the, um, this place is all put back together. And I think I'm actually gonna put some, um, some, some of this insulation, either this stuff or this, um, sort of like, uh, strap insulation around the, um, hot side here. Just to insulate it so it doesn't lose so much heat. Alright, so I've got some insulation around there, so that should be really nice. Shouldn't um, radiate so much heat off of here, and radiate so much heat up into the um, displacer, so or into the cooling jacket, so that should be really good. So let's go hook it up and give it a run. 